in this video lecture i will explain pointers and functions arguments can be passed to a function in two ways call by value and call by reference in call by value only the value of arguments are sent to the function while in call by reference uh, address of arguments are sent to a function so in call by value method any changes made to the formal parameter do not change the actual parameter and in call by reference method any changes made to the formal parameter change the actual parameter okay so uh, call by value we just create a copy of uh, actual parameter whereas in call by reference we pass the address of the actual parameter so now let uh, let's discuss call by value so this is the example to demonstrate call by value method uh, here you can see uh, we have uh, we have a this is the program which will demonstrate how call by value works so uh, what we are doing here this is the function prototype uh, we have given a name value to a function and we are passing two parameter x and y okay in main function what we are doing so this is the prototype so this will be totally optional if we are writing this definition before main function since we are writing main function first so this is uh, it is compulsory to write the prototype so prototype uh, uh, what we should write we have to write the return type name of the function and then the argument so what we are doing in this program we are uh, taking two variable a and b and we are just showing before passing the value in a function call uh, what is the value of a and b and after a function call what is the value of a and b using call by value method so here uh, in main function what we are doing we have declared two variable a and b a is equal to 5 and b is equal to 8 and then what we are doing we are printing the value of a and b and then this value a comma b this is a function call okay so when function is called the control will come to the function definition and the value of a and b this is actual parameter so this a and b the copy of the value will be the copy will be created and that will be passed in a formal parameter here so 5 and 8 will be passed here now what we are doing we are incrementing x plus plus and y plus plus so here 5 is going to come and here 8 is going to come and then increment means this will become 6 and this will become 9 and then we are printing x and y here so what value will be printed 6 and 9 will be printed here and here what value will be printed here 5 and 8 will be printed okay and after this the function uh, will return uh, come come here the control comes here after this the control comes here and then again we are printing the value of a and b so it will be 5 and 8 only so this is what is happening in call by value the copy of the actual parameter is passed here so the changes made to the formal parameter do not change the actual parameter so here you can see before passing uh, before calling the function 5 and 8 is printed after calling the function also we are the when we are printing the value of a and b so 5 and 8 are printed so let's uh, so what will be the output the output of this program will be first this print of message will be uh, executed so a is equal to 5 and b is equal to 8 and then function call so control comes here so x is equal to 6 y is equal to 9 and then again after finishing this execution control again comes to the main function and then a is equal to 5 and b is equal to sorry uh, this is b b is equal to 8 will be printed here okay so next the same thing is explained here using this diagram so before incrementing x and y and this is after incrementing x and y so what is happening before calling the function value okay the name of the function was value the value of a and b was what it was 
5 and 8. A was 5 and B was 8. And uh, when we create any, when we declare any variable, some memory will be allocated to it. So, suppose the address is 2000 here for A and for B, suppose it is 2004. And the value of A and B are copied into X and Y. So, when we call a function, what happens? These are actual parameter A and Y. This will be copied uh, to into X and Y. So, X will have 5, Y will have 8 now. And since the memory location of X and Y are x and y and a and b are different right when uh, x some memory will be created suppose it is 2012 for y it is 16 2016 so memory location for a b and x y are all different and when the value of x and y are incremented in function definition we had written x plus plus and y plus plus so when the value of x and y x is incremented it becomes 6 and this becomes 9 okay so there will not be any effect on the value of a and b so therefore after calling the function this x and y becomes after incrementing this 5 becomes 6 and this 8 becomes 9 so this is the value of x and y after uh, incrementing x i mean after uh, incrementing x and y this is the value okay and uh, <coughs> a and b will remain same so, this the changes made to this will not be reflected here. Why? Because the memory address is different. So, this is what is happening in call by value. Okay. And in call by, now let us discuss call by reference. So, call by reference what we do instead of uh, passing the, instead of copying the value, uh, instead of creating the copy, what we do? We uh, pass an address of the variable. So, <coughs> Here, uh, what we do, you can see in this example, this is the function prototype. Name of the function is ref here and you can see here the call by reference in C is achieved by uh, pointer. Okay, So, here we have two arguments will be the pointer variable star p and star q and whenever we write a pointer variable, this is how we write. Okay. And uh, in main function, uh, the same thing, A and B are the two variable. And then before uh, calling the function, A and B value we are printing. So, 5 and 8 only will be, this will print 5 and 8. And then we are calling a function. So, you can see the difference in call by value, we were passing the copy of A and B. So, we were just passing A and B. Here, we are passing the address of A and B. So, using ampersand operator, we can pass the address ampersand a ampersand b and then uh, after the function call again we are printing a and b so we will see what value will be printed here so once the control comes here uh, i mean the compiler sees this the control comes here to the function definition this is function definition okay and here uh, what is happening so earlier the copy of a and b was the value of a was copied to this argument and the value of b was copied to this but since it is called by reference so instead of copying the value the address will be copied so for p the address of a will come and for b the address of q will come and then we are incrementing star p plus plus so when we say p so p will have the address of a when we say q so since it's a pointer variable so q will have the address of b and when we say star p, so the value stored at that address location. So the address, so this, this means this p is pointing to a and this q is pointing to b. So p value will be the address of a. Now we want to see what is the value stored at that address location. So that will be nothing but the value of a. So the star p will increment the value of a. So this is same as a plus plus and this is same as b plus plus. Okay. So the value will become here uh, 6 and 9 and then we are printing star p star q. So, star p is nothing but the value stored at that address location. So, 6 and 9 will be printed and after this the control again comes here to the main function and here also 6 and 9 will be printed. Okay. So, let us uh, show this using this diagram uh, then it will be more clear. You can see here uh, what is happening instead of passing address of a variable uh, we are passing instead of pass, uh, uh, copying the value we are passing the address of variable a and b in the function call so 
the receiving formal parameters in the function declaration should be declared of pointer type that we have already declared star p and star q and whenever function reference is called the name of the function was ref two pointers to int variable named p and q are created okay and they are initialized with the address of a and b so for p pointer variable is having the address of a so address of a is 2000 and q is having the address of b suppose it is 2004 and since when we create a pointer variable that variable also will have some address okay now you can see here uh, before this is before incrementing the value of star p and star q so 5 and 8 was there and since this is pointing to this and this is pointing to this so when we say only p so the p value will be 2000 if we say q it the value will be 2004 but when we want to know what is the value stored at this address location i should write star p okay so now <clears throat> what is happening before calling the function ref the value of a and b are 5 and 8 and the value of the actual arguments are copied into the pointer variable p and q and here the actual arguments are address of the variable a and b so arguments are nothing but the address and since p contains the address of the variable a so that is 2000 and q contains the address of the variable b that is 2004 so we can access variable a inside ref by writing star p so star p if i write if i write star p that means it is same as a if i write star q this is same as b so similarly b can be accessed by writing star q and now star p plus plus means the value at the address location that means the value at address 2000 which is nothing but 5 will be incremented similarly if i say star q plus plus so that means value at address 2004 that is 6 will be incremented and when we come back to main function we see that the value of a and b are changed okay so after incrementing 5 and 8 it becomes 6 and uh, so this becomes actually this becomes actually 8 plus 1 9 okay so this becomes 6 and 9 so it we was we were able to access them indirectly so in this way we can uh, increment i mean uh, we can dim, uh, implement call by reference by passing address as argument so hope you have understood the concept of call by value and call by reference thank you